Harachana. <coughs> Welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today, from mathematics subject, decimals topic we are going to continue. So, in our previous videos, we have learnt about addition, subtraction and multiplication of uh, decimal fractions. Our today's concept is division of decimal fractions. So, here uh, dividing a whole number or decimal number by 10 or any higher power of 10. Regarding that, we are going to learn today. So, dividing a whole number or decimal number by 10, by 10 or 10, 10 square or 10 cube or 10 cube or let us take one common, common term 10 power n, where n is a n is an n is a natural number so n values we can take from 1 2 3 4 and so on means we are dividing a whole number or decimal number by 10 power n by 10 power n if you divide like that so what happens to the decimal point the decimal point will move n places to the left as we are dividing by 10 power n, so whatever decimal point is there, that will move n places, that will move n places towards the left, n places towards the left. Means if we divide by 10 square, the decimal point will move 2 places towards left, 2 places towards left. Or if we divide by 10 cube because we have 10 cube here so that is why decimal point will move 3 places towards left so that is the rule here so in example 1 they have given one minute one minute Okay. Uh, here in example 1, they have given 53 divided by 10. But in the numerator, there is no decimal. So, we can write it as 53.0 because 53.0 is nothing but 53. <coughs> so, according to our uh, calculations, we can write like this 53.0 by 10 because we have 10 power 1 here. So, in the power we have 1 here. So, decimal point will move 1 place towards left and it will become 5.30. So, then by 10 power 1 we will not write because we are removing 10 power 1 in the denominator and we are shifting decimal place to the left. Again, no need to take 10 power 1 here. So, 5.30 which is nothing but 5.3 because in the because in decimal numbers we have two parts. This is the whole number part and this is the decimal part. In the decimal part, extreme right side, whatever values are there, if 0 is there, then it will be not having any value. We can write it as 5.3. Next. Next we have 164.5 by 100. By 100. Because we have 100 here, 100 means 10 square. So, in the power we have 2. So, decimal point will move 1, 2 places towards left and it will become 1.645. 1.645. Okay. Next. 0 0.1536. We are dividing by 1000. So, 0 0.1536. We are dividing by 1000. We are dividing by 1000. So, because 1000 means 10 cube. 1000 means can be written as 10 cube. We have 3 in the power. So, the decimal point should move 1, 2, 3 places towards left. But towards left, we have only 1 0. We have only 1 place. 2 places not there. So, on the extreme left, according to our calculations, 
we can keep as many zeros as we want because the value does not change us. So, we can keep zeros here. So, this point will move 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3 places means it will become before that also means point will come here, point will come here before the point there is nothing means we can keep 0 point. So, 0 point 0, 0, 0, 1, 5, 3, 6 like that we can write. So, this is the rule to be followed while dividing a whole number or decimal number by 10 or powers of 10 means if we divide by 10 power n we have to move decimal point n places towards the left. So, according to our convenience we can keep zeros on the extreme right side of decimal part or on the extreme left side of whole number part, numerical part. We can keep zeros as many as many we want without changing the value. Because if we keep zeros, then only we will be, we would be able to shift the decimal point. Without uh, taking these extra zeros, we cannot move the decimal point. Next. So, next to divide a decimal number by a whole number other than 10 or powers of 10 other than 10 or powers of 10 like uh, normal whole numbers like 7, 23 with that numbers how to divide a decimal number that we have to learn. Okay. So, for this suppose 37.17 is there 37.17 divide 37.17 by 7. So, we have to divide as we have done in the case of whole numbers in the same way, but in decimal numbers we have to place the decimal point in the quotient directly above or below the decimal point in the dividend above or below means in this process in long division process we are keeping above decimal point that's 1.17 is there we are keeping above 5 point we are keeping like that but in shorter form that 7 point is there we are keeping below 5 point so where we have the dividend because we have to divide that 7.17 by 7 so this is the dividend this is the divisor if dividend is divided by divisor we will get quotient. In the quotient, the decimal point to be kept either directly above in the case of long division, directly below in the case of shorter form. Like that we have to keep. Means in dividend in where <coughs> we are having the decimal point, in quotient also exactly at the same place, we have to keep the decimal point. We have to keep the decimal point. So, next. <coughs> next one. So, here. So, 37.17. 37.17 is there. We have to divide it with the 7. Let us take first number 3 less than 7. So, we have to two, take 2 numbers 37. 7 5 times 37 7 5 times 37 sorry 7 5 times 35 so if we subtract 7 minus 5 2 will come after that 1 we are taking down 1 we are taking down point here we are having point so here immediately here also in the quotient also we will keep a point because we are having point here here also we will keep a point 7 minus 5, 2. So, 1 downside, 1. Point after 1 we are taking. So, in the quotient also, point after next number we have to keep. So, 21. 21 means 7, 3 times 21. So, 3 we are keeping here after point because after point 1 we are taking down. In the quotient also, after point 3 we have to keep. 7, 3 times 21. So, 7, 3 times 21. 
So 21 minus 21, 0. No need to mention. So next number 7, we will we can carry it down. So already we have taken point here. No need to keep point again. So we can take 7 carry down. So 7, 1 is 7. So minus 7, 0. So we are getting 5.31. So division, <coughs> how we have done the division? Same like whole numbers, we have done the division. Everything is same except the decimal point. So only regarding decimal point only you have to take care. After point, 1 you are carrying down. So after point, next number in the cohesion we have to place. So 7, 5 times 35 point downside point we will carry we will take it down so 2 is remaining 21 7 3 times 21 so 0 will remain next number 7 7 1 is 7 so very simple next 0 0.12052 0 0.12052 divided by 23 divided by 23 so with 23 if you take 0 less than 23 not divisible so, we have to keep 0 here in the quotient. Next point, upside point, 1 also not divisible, 0, 1, less than 23. So, we can take 0 here. Next number 2, 12 also less than 23, we cannot divide, we can take 0 here. Next number, we have to consider next number, 120, 0, 120 means 120, because this 0, it do not have any value. So, it will become 120. Now, 120 is more than 23. We can divide. 23, 5 times 115. So, before 120, because this 0 not divisible by 23, we, we have to keep 0 here. Point above point. 1 is not divisible, 0. 2 is not divisible, 0. Sorry. 12 is not divisible, 0. If we consider 0 means 120. Divisible by 23, 5 times. So, we are keeping 5 here. So, 23 into 5, 115. So, 5 is remaining. 5 is remaining. Our next number, 5 we can take it down. 23, 2 times, 46. 9 is remaining. Next to 2 we can carry down. 23, 4 times, 92, 0. So, what is the answer children? 0 0.00524. 0 0.00524. Like that, you can divide. So, like this, you can divide the whole number, uh, sorry, decimal number by any other whole number other than 10 or other than powers of 10. Next slide. Divide 15.064 by 28. We have to divide by 28 because this 15, 15 will be small, smaller than 28, not divisible. We can take 0, point above point. We can consider 0 here, then it will become 150. It will become 150. 28, 5 times. So 140, 140, 0 minus 0, 0, 5, 5 minus 4, 1. So, 6 we can carry down, 6 we can carry down, 28 into 106 means 3 times, 3 times how much, 84, again minus, 6 minus 4, 2, 10 minus 8, 2, next this 4 we can carry down, 4 times, 28, 8 times, 224 minus 0, so 0 0.538 is the answer. 0.538 is the answer or in shorter form because 28 can be written as product of 4 and 7. First we will divide with 4, 4 3 times 12, 3 is remaining, point downside point it will become 30, 4 7 times 28, 2 remaining 26, 4 uh, 6 times 24, 2 remaining 24, 4 6 times 24 this one again with 7. 3 we cannot divide, 0 point we have to take, 37, 7 5 times 35, 7 5 times 35, uh, 2 remaining, 26, 7 3 times 21, 
5 remaining 56, 7, 8 times 56. Like this also, in shorter form we can do. Because 28 is, 28 is a product of 4 and 7, prime factors of, uh, uh, sorry, product of uh, prime factors 4 and 7, if uh, that's why we will divide with 4 and 7. Next, simplify this number divided by 400. So, we have to divide with 400. First, what we will do means we will do with 4. We will do with 4 first. We will divide with 4. We will divide with 4. 4, 0 is not divisible. 0 downside, 0 we can keep. Point downside, point downside, point we can keep. This 0 not divisible, 0 we can keep. 2 is less than 4, 0 we can keep. We can consider this 0 also, then it will become 20. 4, 5 times 20. 6 here, 4, 1 is 4, 2 remaining 28. 4, 7 times 28. Because this is only division. Division process already you know. This is normal division. This is normal division. Means we are getting 0 0.00517. But here what? We are having 400. In 400, we are having two zeros. Because of because of 4, we are getting this answer. But because of two zeros, means four, 400 means we can write it as, we can write it as 4 into 100. We can write it as 4 into 100. Means whatever answer we have got, 0 0.00517. Because of division by 4, we have got this. Still, division by 100 is remaining. Because in 100, two zeros are there. This has to move one, two places towards the left. But only, only one place is there. So, we can take one more zero. First place, second place. Point will shift to here. First place, second place. It will shift to here. Before that, one more zero we can take. So, zero point. So, already two zeros extra we are taking, already one zero, already two zeros are there. So, 0 0.4 zeros, 517. Okay. So, if you get any number like this, 400 or in, in multiples of 100, first you have to divide with the whole number. Then, whatever answer is coming, you have to divide with the multiples of 10 or how many zeros you are having, that many places towards left you have to move the decimal point. Like that you can do. Next, 24 by 2 by 55,000. So, what we will do? We will divide with uh, 55 first because it is a multiple of 10s. Uh, In multiples of 10s, we are having this number. Or on the extreme right side, we have zeros. So, that is why without zeros, 55 is there. Let us divide with 55. Let us divide with 55 first, 55, 24, numerical part 24 is there, less than 55, we can keep 0, point above point, we have to consider one more number, it will become 242, 55 4 sir, 4 times, 222, 4, 4 minus 2, 2, 2 minus 0, 2, uh, we can, there is a 0 is there, we can carry it down, 55 4 sir, 220, 0, this is the division. So, 0 0.44 we have got. But actually we have to divide with 55,000. We have to divide with 55,000. Three more zeros are there. Three more zeros are there on the extreme right. So, point will move three places towards left. Already towards left. Already towards left one zero is there. If it moves three places, one, two, three places means here 1 0, here 1 0, here point. Before that, one more 0. Means 0 0.3044. 0 0.3044. That will be the answer. That will be the answer. <coughs> okay, children. Next, divide 1.5351, 1.5351 by 43. 1.5351 by 43. 
44 and 43. So, first if we take 1 not divisible small number we will keep 0 here point above point we will keep next number 5 it will become 15 still less number. So, we will take 1 0 here because 15 not divisible 43. Next we consider 3 numbers it will become 153. Now, it is divisible by 43, 43 3 times 129. So, 24 is remaining next 5 we will carry it down 43 5 times 215, 30 remaining 1 we will carry down 43 7 times 301. So, 0. What is the answer? 0 0.0357, 0 0.0357. Okay. Next one. Next zero point one two three four five six seven eight nine. After a zero point, we have nine decimal places are there. We have to divide with seventy four. With seventy four. With seventy four. This zero is not divisible. Zero we will we will keep. Zero point. Sorry, point above point we will keep. This 0 also not divisible. This 0 not divisible. This 0 not divisible. 2 not divisible. If you consider 2 numbers, 23 not divisible. If you consider 3 numbers, 234 divisible. Means up to this uh, 234, for up to here, whatever places are there, for that all we will keep zeros only. For that all we will keep zeros only because up to this part because up to this part it is not divisible by 74 if we consider 4 then it will become 234 divisible by 74 so 234 3 times 222 12 remaining 4 we will carry down 74 once times 74 50 remaining 3 we will carry down 74 6 times 444 59 remaining, 2 we will carry down, 74, 8 times, 592, 0. So, the answer is this one. But while solving these kind of problems, you should be careful in the placement of zeros of the quotient. Because up to what number it is not divisible, up to that numbers, you have to consider all zeros in the quotient. Otherwise, your answer will be wrong. Next one. So, to divide a decimal number by a decimal number. To divide a decimal number by another decimal number. Okay. For that, what is the method? So, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right until it becomes a whole number means until it becomes a whole number up to that time we have to move it to the right means either by multiplying 10 or powers of 10 we have to do like this in the divisor we have to move the decimal point to the right until it becomes a whole number so next move the decimal point of the dividend to the same number of places to the right adding 0 if necessary means in divisor in what way we are uh, uh, moving the decimal point in the dividend also to balance that we have to move the decimal point if necessary 0 also we have to take and we, we have to balance in that way we have to balance in that way because Multiplying divisor and divide dividend by the same number does not affect the quotient. Does not affect the quotient. Suppose we have 7.8 by 8.65. Like this we have. We can divide the numerator by 100. We can divide the numerator denominator by 100. To move the decimal point. To move the decimal point towards right. What we can do? We can divide both numerator and denominator means both uh, dividend and uh, both uh, divisor both divisor with the same number so that their value does not changes 
we can do this for our calculations okay so let's uh, try to try with some examples so that we can understand better so here 2.87 divided by 0 0.7 so in 0 0.7 in the 2.87 is the dividend 0 0.7 is the divisor so here in the divisor you are having decimal number here divisor is a decimal number so moving decimal point one place to the right 0 0.7 we are moving one place to the right. So it will become 0, 07 point after that nothing means 0. This 0 do not have any value, this 0 do not have any value. It will be 7. Means in 0 0.7 we have shifted decimal point one place to make divisor a whole number instead of decimal number. So to balance that in the dividend also we have to move decimal point one place towards right instead of 2.87 if uh, this point moves one place it will become 28.7 now instead of this division what we will do we will divide 28 by 0 0.7 divided by 7 we will do this so we will shift the decimal point in both dividend and, uh, and divisor in same manner and we will check that divisor become a whole number. Now we will do the division. 7, 4 times 28. Cancel. Point above point. 7 we will carry down. 7, 1 is 7. 4.1 is the answer. Okay, children. Next. 49.08. 0 0.012. So, here in a divisor, we have three decimal places. So, we have to move three decimal places. 0 0.012. We have to move th three decimal places. 0, 0, 1, 2 point. There is nothing means 0. This zero, this 0 no, do not have any value. We can make it as 12. We can make it as 12. But here, the dividend is 49 point. 08 we have to move three places but we have only two places we can take one zero for our convenience so now we can move it three places 4908.0 0. 0. this is not having any value 49080 now we will change like it like this we will change like this by moving the decimal point in both the numerator and denominator in the same way to make divisor whole number now we will divide with 12 and we will get the answer next one 7 divided by 0 0.00014 so 0 0.00014 so the point is moving five places so that it will become 14 but here in the dividend we have only seven in the dividend we have only seven means 7.0 7 7.0 with we have it has to shift five places means only one place we have remaining four places we can take zeros now, one place, two place, three place, four place, five places. So, what it will become? Seven after five zeros. So, it will become seven lakhs. So, it will become seven lakhs. So, so this is equal to seven lakhs divided by 14. So, we can divide it. Okay. Next. Four not three point. 0.496 divided by 4.78 so decimal two places here two places here still in the dividend we can have decimal places in the 
after moving two places also in the dividend we have decimal, decimal places let it be like division we have done in earlier cases in the same way we can do the division you will get the answer okay children that's all for today so this example is there you can practice this example you can practice this example later children okay children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates thank you have a good day